Hi there, this is a quick tutorial on how to get logged in to Canvas as a substitute. So the first thing you're gonna have to do in order to get to this login page is you are going to have to enter in this URL up in the search bar. So you're gonna type in piperschools.instructure.com slash login slash Canvas. And you have to use that specific URL in order to get to our Piper accounts. Once you type in that URL and you click enter, it will take you to this uh, gray login page for Canvas. So in the login box, you're just going to enter in your email that was given to you by the school. And all of our emails should have piperschools.us um, at the end. And then you're going to enter your password, which is just Piper with a capital P and then 203. So then you'll just hit log in, and then it will log you into Canvas. Now, um, you'll have a left-hand menu that will allow you to access different things like the inbox, the dashboard, courses, and things like that. So as you can see, I am on my dashboard, so I can see all of the courses that I have published, that I have created, and I am involved in. So then in order to get to one, if I wanted to look at my third grade course, I would just click on it and then that would open up and then I would have access to all of my third grade things. Same thing if I go back to the dashboard and then if I click on fourth grade, I have access to all of the fourth grade things. So your dashboard will allow you to see all of the courses that you have access to. And then if you click on courses, it just shows them in a list view. So it's the same thing. You're just clicking on them in a list. And then you also have your inbox, which is a way to send messages and communicate. Um, and then that is how you access your Canvas account. So if I click on my third grade course, I am going to, over on the left-hand side, either click modules and that will take me to what that teacher has assigned for those students for the day, whether it be for math, reading, science, social studies, and most teachers will put a date next to it or the day of the week so that the kids know what they're supposed to supposed to be doing that day. Excuse me, that day. Um, and then a lot of teachers also just on their home page have a button for math or reading, and if they click on it. So like I would have my assignments button. If they have a math or a reading button, you could click on those, and then it would take you directly to the modules that way. So you could get to the modules from the left side menu that says modules, or you can use one of the teacher's um, buttons to click on to get there as well. And this will allow you to um, see everything the kids are seeing and what assignments they need to get done for the day.